Okay, so I'm already going to assume that you know a little bit about an annuity. Just a little bit, but I'll just I'll just say it one more time what an annuity is. So an annuity is a little bit of a different beast than what we've done with in the other chapters. So an annuity was sort of like a retirement where you want to get this big nest egg built up. And whenever you whenever you start saving for retirement or you want to get one of these annuities, what you do is you go and you, you, you make this agreement. Uh, it's almost like purchasing it. Or you make an agreement with, say, some type of lender or bank or uh, you know, one of those uh, stockbroker kind of people. And let's say every every month or every year, let's say every year, this will make it real easy when you put in $100. So every year you're, you're, you're going and you're, you're depositing, I guess would be a good word to say, $100. Now the good part about this, let's say this annuity gathers um, annual interest um, at 10%. It's a real good rate. So the first year you'll get $100 in your, you'll start with, a, you'll start at the very beginning of the year, at the end of the year you'll have $10 interest, 10% times 10, which would leave you with $110. Then the next year you put another $100 in, so it's $210 you got at the beginning of the year. You'd wind up with $21 in interest, and when you add that together you'd have $231. Then at the beginning of the next year, you add another hundred bucks, and you have three hundred thirty-one dollars, be thirty-three dollars and ten cents in interest, and it just keeps on going and on and on and on. And the good part about it is every year you're putting more money in, but also you're getting interest every year. And you know what happens here? You know the good part about it is that little dollar right there was because you you're earning interest on your interest. That dollar come from that ten dollars right there. That much interest there. So, good part about annuity is that you earn interest on your interest, almost like compounding interest would be. Compounding interest from the previous chapters didn't have this add an extra hundred dollars every year. It was just you put a lump sum into and a check into an, a savings account, and they paid you interest over this many years. Well, this time you're building up to that lump sum. You're building up to what you're trying to save to. So, eventually you wind up with this big nest egg. Right, you got this big nest egg here, and hopefully there's enough money here that when you make withdrawals from it, that's going to be your income that you live off of. It might be a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars, whatever it is, but you're going to actually that's going to be your main of income, main mode of income whenever you get old and you want, don't want to work anymore. You can't work, maybe I don't know. Nest eggs. That's what people do for retirement. So, this is the idea of an annuity. There's two types of annuities: an annuity due, which means you. Uh, you go ahead and put your money into this account at the beginning of the period and an ordinary uh, annuity annuity uh, ordinary annuity which means you put the money at the end of the period which seems weird but it happens a lot in uh, say for your where you work or maybe you're going to an insurance company for one of these things so one good type of annuity is um, a Roth IRA and they're a, it's a retirement account and the Roth part has to do with taxes and where you pay taxes before and don't have to pay it. You can read all about that on page 506. But the question that I was posed here by a student was that you had a $2,500, uh, you're going to you're gonna pay $2,500 $2, a year into this Roth IRA and this Roth IRA is guaranteed to pay 3.4% uh, annually and you're going to do this for 25 years and you want to know how much is going to be in there now the book has a table and you've probably been using all these tables and such you've got all these tables that you can use well the table doesn't work for 3.4 it only counts off by halves basically this is for an ordinary annuity anyways so whenever you you're given this weird percentage or if it, maybe you don't like using the tables which I don't like using tables you can actually just use a formula and it looks bad but it's not that it's not that hard to do you can find both the tables I'm sorry you can find both the, the formulas on page 508 for both the annuity due and the ordinary annuity a Roth IRA is a is an annuity due so the future value of an annuity due and it's an annuity due because it only starts gathering interest whenever you first start. You, I mean, it's it's one of these things where you you it starts getting interest whenever you first pay, and you pay at the very beginning. So it's an annuity due. Uh, 
it's the payment that you're going to pay, like the 2500 okay, parentheses 1 plus R, R stands for rate, so there's my R here, that's the payment, uh, to the N power, and N stands for periods, so in this case it's 25, since it's compounds annually, there's only 25 periods, and minus 1 over R, which is still rate, and for the annuity due, you get this little extra piece here, 1 plus R, for that extra period that um, instead of an ordinary annuity. So, page 508, you get both of them. Here's the one for, for annuity due, and that's what you use for the Roth IRA. So for this question, it's simply just plug and chug. 2500, 1 plus 0 0.034, and we'll convert that to a decimal. When I do, I get that, uh, let's see, 25 would be my N. Put it right at 25 instead. There we go, 25. Minus 1, all over 0 0.034. I'm just filling in the numbers here. 1 plus 0 0.034. I like to clean this up a little bit before I type in the, in the calculator. 2500 times uh, 1.034. Right, 1 plus anything is just well, 1.034. It's just, it is what it is. 25 minus 1 all over 0 0.034. 1.034. So that's all I can do. My calculator will actually allow me to type this all in at once. I've got a Casio Prism, is what it's called. It's a fancy dude, but any kid, you know, just make sure you use a calculator that you know how to work. I'm going to type this all in at once, 2500 parentheses, fraction, 1.034 to the 25th power, minus 1, all over 0.034, times 1.034. I wanted to put $99,356.66, you round to the nearest penny for these, so that's 66, so we wound up with $99,356.67. That's how you do a annuity due without tables.